talk to you about open and closed systems. So closed systems are systems where things cycle around and around, nothing comes in, nothing goes out, everything just stays put. Open systems are also, they go around and around, but some things come in and then some things go out. So the first example of a closed system is the water cycle. You can start anywhere in the water cycle, but I'm gonna start in the ocean. So the water in the ocean evaporates up into the clouds and turns into gas or vapor. Then it cruises over towards the land and the clouds condense and they cool into uh, precipitation in the form of rain, or it could be snow or hail, comes down onto the ground, um, eventually turns into rivers that flow back into the ocean. And so we have no water coming in or out of the planet. It just cycles over and over. Carbon's another great example where there's carbon dioxide in the air, plants pull that out through photosynthesis and chemically react that CO2 and water along with the sunlight from the air as a catalyst to make sugar, C6H12O6. Then um, animals eat that sugar and then use the oxygen that the plants made through photosynthesis to create carbon dioxide. There's more going on with the carbon cycle, but you get the idea that the carbon just cycles around and around, no carbon comes in or leaves the planet. The rock cycle also is a closed system where we get magma from inside of the planet and then it comes out in like mountains and cools into igneous rock. Then that igneous rock could be intrusive or extrusive, so inside or outside of the planet. It's broken down by water into tiny pieces of rock called sediments. Those sediments wash down underneath of uh, rivers or oceans and uh, they settle into these flat layers and they get squished and eventually into sedimentary rock. Then that that sedimentary rock or the igneous rock gets really close to those layers of magma and the heat and the pressure turn it into metamorphic rock and then the metamorphic rock can um, get melted into igneous rock again or it can get broken down into sedimentary and the igneous can turn into metamorphic and the sedimentary can be melted and turned back into igneous rock but all the atoms, atoms that make up rocks are constantly recycled through this system through these processes they're no rocks in, no rocks out, just cycled around. So the key here is that all the matter, the atoms on earth cycle through these types of processes. There's nitrogen cycles and there's oxygen cycles, water, carbon, and rock cycles are great examples that we don't add atoms. We don't remove atoms. We don't create, we don't destroy. They just cycle. So is all matter really hundred percent closed on earth? Well, okay. You've got me. So occasionally uh, we send matter out, like when we send satellites or things to Mars or whatever, um, and they don't come back, right? And then sometimes we do get some things from outside of Earth that crash in like meteors, um, and we get a little bit of atmospheric leakage, but these things don't affect the overall systems the way that they worked, and it's super duper small in comparison to the total amount of, of atoms. So it doesn't affect the systems, but it, you're right, it does happen. I know you got me. Okay. Energy, on the other hand, are open systems. So we get heat and light that come to us from the sun and rotate through our systems. We get photosynthesis, weather, electricity, respiration, right? All kinds of great systems. Um, and then some heat and light is reflected and lost back out into the universe. So these closed matter systems cycling require the constant input of energy from the sun. We have to have an outside energy source. For example, um, the heat comes into the earth and um, starts heating up the air. The particles move faster and faster. We get kinetic energy as wind. That wind hits a turbine. Kinetic energy turns into electrical energy inside of that generator. The electricity can go to your toaster and then the heat in that toaster can make your toast, right? Those um, chains that we have. We get light, or sorry, light lost and sound lost. Those go back into the atmosphere and eventually back out. So one of the problems that we have on our planet is that things that should be closed, our matter system should be closed, often are not. Like we plant seeds and we grow food and then we pick the food and then we transport the food and then we sell the food and then we take the food back to our house, right? And we eat the food and then we um, throw away all of the inedible parts of the food and we poo our waste and flush it down the toilet. And then these two things go into landfills completely separate from the source that it came back to. So when we learn about um, agriculture, one of the things that we figure out is we start having to use these chemical fertilizers because we've broken the matter cycle. All of that matter, that waste needs to go back into the soil through composting and natural fertilizers or manures to restore the cycling of that matter. Um, our petroleum based energy is in open cycle where it really should be a closed system. So we pull the oil out, we drill it, we refine it, we turn it into fuel, we put it into our cars for transportation, we get the exhaust and that creates greenhouse gases 
they're absorbed by the ocean, which creates acidification. Then we get the um, plants who take some of that CO2 out of the air and then other um, of those greenhouse gases, those turn into acid rain and that matter never cycles and closes that loop back up. We also refine plastics and we buy the plastic things and we throw them in the trash and that loop never goes back into that oil. So we're constantly have all these open systems. We might try to recycle and close the system a bit, but the key is that here on earth, we want to be sustainable. And if we ever want to try to travel to Mars, we got to close those matter systems, oxygen, food, clothing, entertainment, the atoms have to cycle around the earth because when we leave the earth, there's nowhere for the astronauts to get any new atoms. There's no Mars Mart. And the energy systems can be open because the sun's always going to be available to us so we can have open energy systems but matter systems need to be closed.